Okay, so right here, we're going to show you how to make the object accept the material from the shader. So you're going to go to the object, type in rendering, go down to rendering, click render custom depth pass to activate it, and choose what number of material from the shader you would like to use. Now we're going to go to the instance material that is in the shader. We're going to select the mat 01, which is the first material in the shader. The depth line bias uh, controls how deep into the model you want the line to go, and you can invert it. The depth line multiplier controls uh, the line bias, but is more refined, it's more delicate. This controls the thickness of the line based on depth. This controls the color of the depth line. This controls how far away from the camera you want the effect of the line to be active. Normal line bias is the same as depth, but for the normal controls how the line will be activated by the normal. The line multiplier uh, will control or refine the line bias based on the normal. The line thickness will control how thick the line is based on the normal. The transition area from mat A to mat B will control uh, the blend area, how wide it is from uh, mat A to mat B within the shader. Same thing goes for mat B to mat C. You can control the transition area. Transition distance controls how far back you want that transition, transition area to happen for each material within this material. And then this is to activate the cell shading to control shadows. Here is mat number two, and you have the same functionality. So the purpose of this is to set up uh, different materials for different objects. As before, we went to the object, turn on the custom, render custom depth path, paths, and you can select what material, mat 01, mat 02, or mat 03, uh, to be used on that particular material. And here we have the same functionality. And it's just all how you set the settings. You can get a very unique look for each object or how deep uh, from the camera you want that object to look. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick run through on the, uh, the material. I'm not going to get two in the nuts and bolts, but it's made up of three different materials as of right now for MAT01, MAT02, and MAT03. And inside these materials, I have three additional materials. And these materials are used to transition based on distance from the camera. So MAT A is used to be in the uh, like closest to the camera, MAT B is farther back, and MAT C is the farthest back. We also have the cell shading that handles the uh, shadows based on lighting. And right here is the handles all the transition distances and blending from mat A to mat B to mat C. This is just showing the how I handle the line strength for the depth. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing for the normals. <laughs> Shows a line effect depth. This adds a resulting uh, normal and depth lines, uh, then it gets the color. This is just handling how I uh, lerp the transitions from each of the materials. This is where I give a switch 
to either uh, combine or the lighting and the lines or just use the lines. For our game, we're only using uh, cell shading on the character and uh, creatures that are flying around. On uh, the environment, we uh, will not be using the cell shading, just the lines and all the functionality with the line shader. Down here is where I handle uh, the material switch. So right here is on the object. You select which uh, material you want through the custom render depth pass. This just handles all that. And I, I can handle uh, functionality all the way up to 255. I just have to add it in. It's pretty easy though. Just copy and paste and add another link in.